What happens if I put the greatest NFL quarterback of all time, Patrick Mahomes, on a college team? Back to his alma mater, Texas Tech. Can he save them, bring them a national championship? Can he become the greatest college quarterback ever as well? I mean, he's already the greatest NFL, so what would college be to him? But that's what this video is going to be. We're going to send the entire college career of Patrick Mahomes again. We're going to give him a second chance to do what he couldn't do before, win that national championship. But don't forget to go down below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, new series on the channel. Let me know if you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Rebuilds, Road to Glory, I can do it all. So let me know what you guys want to see. But let's just jump right into the simulation. All right, so here we go with the man himself, Patrick Mahomes II. Um, jersey number five in college. Obviously, he was right-handed, still is, duh. Uh, but, you know, we don't have face scans here in this modded version of the game, so we're going to have to go with this as Patrick Mahomes. Unfortunately, here, um, you're able to see, I mean, if I put it on medium, you know, it's low-key a dark skin dude. So that's not Mahomes. We're going to have to make him light, unfortunately. But, you know, that doesn't really matter. The equipment, kind of more important to me. Um, I gave him decently sized arms. You know, he's a, a quarterback, so, you know, he's got to be able to throw that ball down the field. Um, you know, I also gave him the team color arm sleeve with the quarterback wristband on the left arm here, left wrist. Kind of what he did in college, so kind of being realistic to real life here again. Um, and then as far as his abilities, his skills, you know, he's a 99 overall Madden. It only makes sense that he's 99 here in this game. Um, you know, he's kind of going to kind of be the savior for Texas Tech. You know, I'm putting 28 year old three time Super Bowl champion Patrick Mahomes here on the Texas Tech team. So he's a 99 in Madden. He's going to be a 99 here. I copied all of his Madden ratings um, exactly how they are in that game. So we're getting the best of the best Mahomes here. He really should be a 100 overall. I mean, Caleb Williams is a 98 in this game. So, um, yeah, Mahomes being a 99, you know, he should be higher, but. We're gonna roll with it. All right, this is gonna be the rest of the roster that Mahomes is working with. He's gonna have an 86 overall halfback, Taj Brooks. He's gonna be a senior. So next year, you know, we might have to find a replacement for him. As far as his pass catchers go though, um, we have 87 overall, Jerron Bradley, um, with 83 overall, Miles Prince, 82 overall, not even gonna try to say this guy's name, and then 82 overall, Xavier White. Um, you know, not the fastest dudes, you know, we also have a 93 overall kind of speedster here at 70 overall T King. Um, maybe he'll be a hit in jam if he can, you know, develop over time here. But the rest of the offense, 82 overall tight end, Baylor Cup, nothing special. His offensive line here got a 79 overall left tackle, 83 overall left guard. 83 overall center, 80 overall right guard, then 81 overall right tackle. So Mahomes, you know, he's got pretty decent protection here. And then his pass catchers are really nothing special. But, you know, he's going to be the savior for this team. He should be able to just make up for all the deficiencies that this offense might have. So we're going to see what we can do. And no love for our guy Mahomes on the all big 12 team he wasn't on the first team he's not even on the second team but luckily owens and one of our tight ends is going to be on the preseason all-american but mahomes he's going to prove everyone wrong and he's coming for that title so we'll see what we can do but let's go ahead and look at our schedule group all right so we're going to start the season at smu here then we're going to play southeast then we're going to play tcu play at home against ucf and then the big game of the season, number two ranked Michigan. Um, at home, we'll see if some of our guys are kind of developed and can start playing better by then. But that'll be a big challenge at home for Mahomes and the rest of the guys here. You can see the rest of the schedule, though. We're going to be playing at Iowa State, home against West Virginia. Another big road test. So um, two road games so far against ranked opponents. Um We'll see if they're still ranked by then, but we um, wrap up the season. We do play Deion Sanders in Colorado on the road. We're going to be at Arizona State, home against BYU, and then end the season on a bye. So we'll see if we're going to be able to make the conference tournament, but first season for Mahomes, let's see what he can do. So after just one season, Patrick Mahomes has already carried Texas Tech 
all the way to the Big 12 championship game, has them ranked number five nationally, defeated number two Michigan, defeated number 12 Utah, unfortunately took a tough L to um, TCU early in the season, but we're here. You see Patrick Mahomes the second is the favorite to win the Heisman. Um, just a dominant season for Mahomes. We take a look at his stats. I mean, 42 touchdowns, only eight interceptions, average yards per game, 338, 68% completion, 4,000 yards. Not quite as good as um, what he was used to doing at Texas Tech, but once again, we're going to realize that he's a freshman here. Pull up his stats for his freshman year. I know he didn't play all the games, but it wasn't anywhere close to these type of stats. So a great season here for Mahomes. But it's all going to come down to this Big 12 championship game. A chant. Patrick Mahomes effect is real, y'all. I mean, you can just see it right here. I mean, the rest of his team, the boost that they got is absurd. I mean, and we saw it before the season. I mean, his second best player was the punter. Um, but now he has a 96 overall receiver with 93 speed. I mean, now he also has a 91 overall um, right and now I did apply some boost before this conference championship game to help them out But we're gonna see what they can do against Kansas and I mean you see it right here So so close our guy Patrick Mahomes to winning his first Heisman um, As a freshman it ends up going to Tajay Spears from Tulane Will Shipley from Clemson is behind him um, And then you see the rest of the guys too, but Mahomes we're gonna get him He's just a freshman and we're gonna get this dang Heisman and you see it there Mahomes wins the Maxwell Award, also wins the Walter Camp Award, wins the Davey O'Brien Award, one of the most significant um, achievements as a collegiate athlete. Alright, so after all the boosts have been applied, we've already seen what Mahomes has done in his first year. We're, ranked, we're playing the 20th ranked Memphis Tigers in the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl. Let's see what Mahomes can do to cap off his freshman season. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to finish in the top two ranking, so won't be playing in the National Championship game. But we will be highly ranked next year, and especially if we win this game, we will probably finish in the top two um, for the BCS ranking. So we'll see what Mahomes can do here. And you see it right there. We're able to call out a great win against Memphis to end the season. Freshman year for Patrick Holmes. Compare it to his real life freshman season. Really didn't do a whole lot, but here already had one of the best seasons in college of all time. But Ohio State won the national championship here in the simulation, but we're coming for that title next year. We're, and I mean, here it is. You see it. Mahomes, what a great season. Threw for over 4,000 yards. You saw the stats earlier. Finished number three ranked in the nation. Um, yeah, just a fantastic season for Texas Tech in Mahomes' freshman year. But we will be back. For, we'll see if Mahomes can finally bring the national championship back to the college team he played for as his 28-year-old self. All right, so here we are, season two for our guy, Patrick Mahomes, 99 overall still, still the best player in college football. Now, his roster has gotten a lot better just after that last season. I mean, finishing number two in the country will do that for your team. He now has a 99 overall receiver, um, has a 92 overall outside linebacker with a 92 overall safety. His tight end's even 90 overall. I believe this guy's a transfer, um, but it also has it now at 89 overall overall defensive tackle so his team is definitely loaded around him a lot better than it was last year so they're starting the season number two ranked nationally and it would be pretty disappointing to have anything else besides a national championship so yes you could say this season for the texas tech red raiders is championship or bust all right, so here we go. The schedule this season for the Texas Tech Red Bay. You see that big number two there. Number two in the country to start the season. Going to open with a bye week. Then play at Penn State. A big test, even though, you know, they're not starting the season ranked. But, I mean, losing this game could completely um, dash our title hopes. You know, Last season for Mahomes and the boys, you know, we only had one loss. And that's what kept us out of the national championship. So, almost feel like we have to go undefeated this time around. But you see the rest of the schedule. We have California, um, then a bye, then UCF, Coastal Carolina, Cincinnati, Utah, Houston, Colorado, BYU, Arizona State, West Virginia. Pretty much just going to be the Big 12 schedule again this year. Not really a whole lot of movement. Um, and also not too many ranked teams. I believe only one or two on this schedule. So, you know, 
Um, might be a little, but it's ranked at a B plus. So you know, if we can just win all of our games, we're gonna be playing the national championship. And for Mahomes, you know, this would be a huge legacy mover going to the NFL again. And Patrick Mahomes' quest for an undefeated season ends at the hands of number one Utah. You know, we were number one before we ended up losing to them, but. Um, look at the game summary here. They run for a four-yard touchdown. Um, then we followed off with the same thing. Two-yard rush touchdown for them. We had a field goal. 20-yard pass from them. 22-yard pass from Mahomes. 40-yard pass touchdown for them. Six-yard run for us. And then we go for two, get it. But just not enough to be able to beat um, the number one Utah Utes. I mean, they were a team last year that we ended up beating at their place. This year, they come to our house and get a win. So this really makes it tough on us to be able to win this national championship. But hope is not lost because if we can win the rest of our games, we probably will end up playing them again in the Big 12 championship game. So a chance to get redemption, but have to keep winning the rest of our games if we even want to do that and allow um, Mahomes to continue to rack up these individual accolades. And same result here for Patrick Mahomes and the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Unfortunately, their early season loss to Utah costed them a chance at the Big 12 championship game. Um, Utah finishes the season 11 and one, and even though they're ranked lower than us Texas Tech Red Raiders, um, they beat us, so they will be playing against Kansas in the Big 12 championship. And, you know, losing this probably eliminates us also from a chance at the national championship game as well. So just a tough pill to swallow. But we'll go ahead and take a look at this season in rewind for Patrick Mahomes statistically. And you see Mahomes' stats for the second season, his sophomore season. Um, pretty similar, you could say to his um, freshman year, a little bit worse as far as passing um, yards and touchdowns, did throw less interceptions, so a little bit more of a balanced attack from, you could say, the offensive coordinator this season, but he's still a Heisman finalist, still projected to finish second in the voting, still a finalist for all the major awards, the Maxwell, the Walter Camp, and the Davey O'Brien Award, so his teammates probably going to be getting some boost going into the next season, but we'll see if we can somehow sneak our way into the national championship game, even though we're not playing on championship Saturday. So we'll see, but it's probably going to be year three that we're going to have another chance to win a national championship with Mahomes. And there we have it. Patrick Mahomes wins the Heisman as a sophomore. Um, you know, probably didn't have the greatest statistical season as he did last year, but you see the rest of the guys. Kyle McCord from Ohio State finishes in fourth. Donovan Edwards from Michigan finishes in fifth. But just an amazing season all around for Mahomes, you know. Um, so many touchdowns, so many yards. Wraps up with the Heisman. Unfortunately, won't be playing in the national championship game and didn't have a chance to win a Big 12 championship. But the Heisman is such a significant award that, you know, you take it when you can get it regardless of how your team finishes. So great season for Patrick Mahomes overall. All right, so here we go. Biggest game of the season, the Rose Bowl game for the Texas Tech Red Raiders and Patrick Mahomes. We'll see what he can do um, to wrap up his sophomore season after winning the Heisman. Reg number four, see if we can get into the top two for the postseason rankings. And there it is. We win the Rose Bowl. And we cap off another great season for Patrick Mahomes, winning the Heisman, winning the Rose Bowl MVP, finishing number three ranked nationally. Just one more thing to do in his junior season before he goes off to the NFL. It's to win the national title. Can we do it next season? If we take a look at the roster here, in season three, Patrick Mahomes, his final season in college, he's a junior. He's still the best quarterback in all of the land. He's got a 98 overall free safety, 97 overall outside linebacker, 96 halfback. I mean, just look at his roster around him. It's fantastic. No excuses this time around. From where we started as a freshman, he absolutely balled out all the way to a 13-1 season. Last year as a sophomore, wins the Heisman, finishes 12-1. Again, no national championship, so here in year three, this is the best his roster's ever been, and he needs to guide us to the promised land, a national championship. But let's go take a look at the schedule because it's a tough one this season. You see the schedule here for Patrick Mahomes and the boys this season. Start the season home against UTEP, then a bye 
home against number one Ohio State. Four straight home games to start the season before start to go on the road here. But that Ohio State game was one that, you know, is kind of necessary. You know, we've been kind of just relying on ourselves to win every game each season and we just end up coming up one game short so we feel like if we can just beat Ohio State we can kind of eliminate them from that championship game instead of eliminating ourselves by losing another game hopefully we can go undefeated once again be a magical season but the um, rest of this season after BYU it's going to be at Arizona State home against West Virginia and then at TCU to end it off so um, yeah big thing coming this season hopefully um, we can beat Ohio State, but let's go ahead and see what happens against number one Ohio State. And here we have it. Number one Ohio State gets defeated by number three Texas Tech. We've now moved up to number two. They dropped all the way to number 16. They actually lost another game um, after us, but this is just beautiful. I mean, jump out to a 28 nothing lead, and then they answer with their touchdown. We come right back. I mean... It's a complete blowout, 42 to 14. We're up to number two. Um, the only team ahead of us right now in the polls is Miami. So we just have to keep winning. We do play Utah. We have to get our revenge for what they did to us last season. But if we can just keep winning these games, man, we're going to be playing the national championship. And Mahomes will cap off his college career with a bang. But let's continue to advance and see what happens and another great season for Patrick Mahomes and the boys this time they actually close it out finish the season 12 and 0 um, number two ranked right now in the polls you know if they can win this conference championship game against Oklahoma State um, they're gonna have a chance to play for the national championship we go ahead and look at Patrick Mahomes season stats once again and here it is this time, this season um, doesn't throw for 4,000 yards, but uh, continuing to cut down those interceptions by three each year. Um, the touchdowns are going down, but you know they're just starting to play a little bit more balanced. You know he's not in the game as often. You know he's completing more of his passes, so he's just becoming a much better quarterback. Even though the stats might not say it, you know these games are a little bit more out of hand as his career has gone on. The team's gotten better around him, but you know if we compare them to what he did in real life, they're still a lot better he's still gonna win the Davy o'brien award the walter camp the maxwell um and he's a favorite right now for the heisman once again so three straight heisman finalists this time um in this simulation for mahomes but it's the biggest game of his career so far the big 12 championship chance to become a two-time big 12 champion and advance to his first national championship patrick mahomes once again finishes second in the heisman voting so for the second time in his career he finishes second but you know that's three heisman finalists for him in his career and one heisman trophy so we'll see what happens the rest of the season but i mean a fantastic season capped off with a conference championship win so it's on the bowl season a chance to finally win that national championship and here we go it couldn't have played out more perfectly Patrick Mahomes last game is his last opportunity to win the national championship playing in the national championship game 13 and 0 Texas Tech versus 12 and 0 Oregon you even see Kurt Hershey picking against our boy Mahomes in his last game but I mean you see the team comparison it's a neck and neck um, just a totally even game between these two teams and you know it's going to come down to the last play and we'll see if we put an NFL quarterback the GOAT back on his college team can he bring them the national championship can he be the difference maker for his team and there it is patrick mahomes and the texas tech red raiders win the bcs national championship mahomes brings a title back to the team that he played for wow and that's going to do it for the career of patrick mahomes um, just a fantastic career um, wins the national championship like we set out to do three Heisman finalists one win each year won the Davy O'Brien award the Maxwell the Campbell all the major quarterback awards just a fantastic career so the question is answered if we put 20 year old Patrick Holmes back in college it would be an absolute buzz off we just take a look at a picture of his trophy case which is gonna be on the screen I mean it's absurd it's he's 
definitely the greatest college quarterback now of all time, just like he's the greatest NFL quarterback too. So I hope you enjoyed that Patrick Mahomes career simulation video. Um, I can do more of these type of videos in the future if y'all continue to show support um, on this specific video because, you know, just testing it out. But this is a fun video to make. Same with putting the best NFL quarterback back in college would do uh, to shake up the rest of college football. And we saw it. I mean, had an amazing career. So um, that's going to do it for this video. But don't forget to go on below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn the notifications on. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.